Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is Vijay Gitturi, and in this video, I will explain you how to install Jenkins on Ubuntu Virtual Machine on Google Cloud. So here, Jenkins is an open source automation server that helps teams to build, test, and deploy software applications faster and more reliably. So it is a Java-based application that runs on Windows, Linux, and Mac OS platforms. And Jenkins offers a wide range of features, including continuous integration and continuous deployment pipelines, automated testing, and articraft management. And it also supports a various of plugins which can be used to integrate Jenkins with other deployment tools and services. And Jenkins works by automating the build, test, and deployment process of software projects. So here the main benefits of using Jenkins is it helps teams to improve their development workflow, reduce errors, and increase productivity. So first let's create a virtual machine on this Google Cloud and let's install Jenkins on that. So first here we need to navigate to Compute Engine. And here you can see it will display all the virtual machines here. So right now we don't have any of the virtual machine. So let's create a virtual machine. Directly select here Create Instance. So first we need to specify the name of the instance. So here I'm giving the name like Jenkins. Or else let's give the name like Instance 1. So this is the name I'm giving. So region I'm going to select US Central 1. So here I'm going with the zone any. So Google Cloud will take any of this region, any of this zone. When it comes to machine configuration, here I'm going to select E2. And here you can see I'm going to select E2 small. And let's come down. And here you can see boot disk. So here directly select change. So here boot disk is nothing but it is an operating system of our virtual machine. So here you can see operating system directly drop down this. So if you want to install Jenkins on CentOS, you can directly select here CentOS. Or else if you want to select, uh, if you want to install Jenkins in Debian, you can directly select this. Or else if you want to select Ubuntu, here you can see Ubuntu. So in this video, I'm going to select Ubuntu. And here I'm going with the default storage, which is 10 GB. So here you can increase, uh, here you can see, you can increase storage up to 20 or else 50 or else 100. Here you can see it was accepting any of the storage. But if I select here 9, it will not accept. So when I select here, you can see select. So here you can see disk size cannot be smaller than the size of the chosen disk. So here the default should be 10 guys. Here you can see 10 GB. Here 10 GB is minimum. So directly select here select. So here you can see, here I have selected Ubuntu 20.04 LTS, long term support, directly come down and here you can see firewall, here I am going to select allow HTTP and allow HTTPS and in advanced options directly drop down this and here you can see networking, directly drop down this, here you can find uh, in network interfaces, you can find VPC network, so here you can see it was taking the default VPC network, so I will show you that. Here you can see VPC network. So I will open this in a new tab again. So here you can see VPC network. So when I come here, here you can see it was taking the default VPC. So previously I created a custom VPC. So this is the custom VPC. I will open this. And here you can see I have created a subnet with netmask slash 24. Here slash 24 comes with 256 IPs. So I have created. So in firewall, I have created, uh, I have given all traffic. Uh, all traffic so in my firewall so let's come here and here i'm going to select custom vpc so here you can see public subnet one so here you can see in subnets you can see public subnet one i have created it with netmask slash 24 here you can see slash 24 it comes with 256 ips so everything is okay directly select here create So it takes nearly 10 to 20 seconds to create this virtual machine. So we need to wait for that time. After completing this, let's directly select here SSH. So in previous video, I explained you how to connect to this virtual machine using Git Bash. So if you want to connect using Git Bash, I have created a previously I've created a video. So you can watch that video. So here it was creating. So meanwhile, let's go to Jenkins official documentations. Directly, I will open a new tab. And here you need to search for Jenkins.io. So here you can see this is the official documentations of Jenkins. Directly select here download. And right now we are going to install on Ubuntu. So directly you need to select this and these are all the commands to install Jenkins. So let's come here 
So here you can see our virtual machine is in running state. So let's directly connect to this virtual machine directly select here SSH. So it will connect to our virtual machine. Directly select here authorize. So here you can see we connected to our virtual machine. So here you can see instance one. So first we need to update our instance by using sudo apt update hyphen y. Sorry. So here we need to give apt. So first it will update our instance. So here you can see update has been completed. So let's clear the screen. Now let's become to root user by hitting sudo su. It will become to super user. So here you can see right now we are in root user. That means super user. So first we need to install JDK. So command is sudo apt install default JDK. So it will install the default JDK. Here directly select Y. So here you can see it was completed. So let's clear the screen. So first we need to add a key to the system. So directly go to again Jenkins official documentations. So this is our Jenkins official documentation. So here we need to copy this key directly copy this key. And come here and paste it here. And now again we need to go to Jenkins official documentations. So now we need to take this repository directly copy this repository and paste it here. So we have added this repository. So first we need to update our instance again. So sudo apt update hyphen y. So it will update our instance. And after that we need to install Jenkins. sudo apt install Jenkins hyphen y. So it will install Jenkins. After installing this Jenkins we need to start this Jenkins.
So here you can see Jenkins installation has been completed. So let's clear the screen. So first we need to start this Jenkins server by using sudo systemctl start Jenkins. So it will start this Jenkins. So let's see the status sudo systemctl status Jenkins. So here you can see our Jenkins is in active and running and this is our Jenkins password. So let's come out and let's connect to Jenkins directly copy this external IP. So you need to copy this external IP and open your new tab. And here you need to access with port 8080. So Jenkins runs under the port of 8080. So you need to access with port 8080. So here you can see it was asking password. So this is the Jenkins password. So here you can see this is the Jenkins password. So or else uh, there is another way directly copy this path and come to here again. And here you need to do sudo cat and you need to paste that path here. So it will display the password. So in this path, uh, we can find the Jenkins password. So directly select let here enter. So here you can see this is the Jenkins password directly copy this come here sorry come here and paste it here and directly select here continue and select never and here you need to select install suggested plugins so now Jenkins will install some of the plugins So here you can see plugin plugins installation has been completed. So first we need to provide username. So here I'm providing username like Vijay. I will copy this password. I'm giving Vijay. Confirm password Vijay. Full name Vijay. Vijay at the rate of gmail.com. Save and continue. And directly select here close. And here you can see Jenkins URL. So it is nothing but this is an external IPv4 address of our Ubuntu sorry virtual machine and this is our Jenkins port number which is 8080. So here you can see 34.46.238.199 directly come here you can see 34.46.238.199 this is the external IP address of our virtual machine and we need to access with port 8080. So here you can see 8080 directly select here save and finish. Here you can see Jenkins is ready you need to select start using Jenkins. So here you can see this is the dashboard of our Jenkins. So yes, that's it for today's video. In this video, I explained you how to install Jenkins on Ubuntu virtual machine on Google Cloud. And yes, guys, that's it for today's video. And if you like my video, please do like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And see you in the next video and bye.